The Las Vegas Raiders firing defensive coordinator Paul Gunther abruptly last night. Sims surmised, and I agreed with him, something had to have happened. We just had the Mark Colombo, Joe Judge incident November of this year where Judge quickly fired Colombo, and it turned out there was an incident between the two of them. It just seemed too sudden. It seemed too abrupt. But I'm told, and I've seen nothing to contradict this, that it was just John Gruden calling up Gunther saying we're going in a different direction. And Gruden today said... I really feel for the best interest of this team right now. We need a new voice. We need somebody who has a different perspective, a different approach. Rod Marinelli takes over for the next three weeks. I don't know that it increases the chances of the Raiders getting to the postseason. And I don't know how much of this is really Gunther's fault. They just don't have the players. They've skewed the spending this year heavily toward offensive players. A lot of guys who haven't worked out and aren't there. The defense didn't get the same commitment of resources. And this is a team that held the Browns to six points. This is a team that beat the Chiefs, that beat the Saints. It's not like they shut them down, but they still outscored them. The defense has to do its thing to win those games. And really, of all their losses, the only loss to an inferior team, a clearly inferior team, was a loss to the Falcons. They had six turnovers in that game. So this one surprised me. And I don't know that, especially with only three days now, to get ready for a Thursday night game against the Chargers. This is going to make a difference. This has potential disaster written all over it for the Raiders defensively on Thursday night, Shireen. Yeah, Mike, I saw this coming the day they hired Rod Marinelli because we know they go back to the Tampa Bay days. Rod Marinelli was the assistant head coach in Tampa under John Gruden when they won their Super Bowl. And so I knew when he hired him, this was eventually going to happen. And I think this is more about next year probably than the rest of the season, just so Rod can call the shots. And it's not going to surprise me a bit if Chris Richard gets a call and says, hey, come join me in Las Vegas to be a defensive assistant or whatever they call him now to, to help out just for the rest of the season to see what they can do. Chris Richard sitting at home waiting for a job and was, of course, with Rod Marinelli in Dallas the last couple of years. But I tell you, the beginning of the end, Mike, was that second Chiefs game when the Raiders scored late, minute whatever was left, minute 40-some-odd, I think, was left on the clock. And we all knew what was going to happen. And the Chiefs go right down and score. That was kind of the end for Paul Gunther. I got a call from somebody in the Raiders organization that next week saying, now do you believe how bad our defense is? And I said, yeah, I get it. That, that was awful that you didn't do come even come close to stopping. And I realize it's Patrick Mahomes, but you didn't come close to stopping him. But it is personnel. You're exactly right. Since Paul Gunther got there, they ranked last in sacks, last in takeaways, but they don't have the players. And you look at the failures they've had, the P.J. Halls and those type of guys they drafted that didn't work out. It's a failure as much to get the talent in there over the past few years as it is on what Paul Gunther said. But I'm with you. I don't think it makes that much difference this year, but I do think it was a move for next year. One of the problems this week, they waived defensive tackle Daniel Ross to create a spot for Trent Brown when he emerged from the COVID-19 reserve list. And they were confident that Ross would slip through waivers and they would be able to re-sign him. And uh, he was claimed by the Jaguars. So that blew up on them. And at one point yesterday, and for uh, my understanding is, I haven't looked at the film, my understanding is for extended stretches of the game when the starting defensive tackles got tired, as they tend to do because they are large men, it was Chris Smith, a 266-pound defensive end playing nose tackle against the Indianapolis Colts, which is not going to work. Uh, especially against that team with that power they have in the interior of the offensive line. So that's that for Paul Gunther. We'll see what Rod Marinelli can do. There are some folks out there advocating Wade Phillips. Remember, remember what's going on in uh, um, Dallas. You, you can't bring in somebody that runs a completely different defense if you don't have the personnel for him either. So I, don't, I would be stunned if Wade Phillips all of a sudden rides in on a white horse to try to save the Raiders' defense. Marinelli's the guy. They'll see what they can do. And like you said, Shireen, this is a setup for next year and, and to see where it goes from there. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.